Everybody right now has dreams, don't they, guys? All right, everybody in the NFL, I have a dream of making it in the NFL. I got a dream of winning the Super Bowl. I got a dream of being in the Pro Bowl. I'm really not into dreams anymore, okay? I'm into nightmares. You guys with me on that? You got to end somebody's dream. This is Raider's Allegiance with Lunatic Raider. Welcome to the dark side. Welcome to Raider's Allegiance. Yours truly, Lunatic Raider. Today we're going to be performing our 2020 Raiders mock draft. This is off of PFN, Pro Football Network. Basically, we just want to have fun with this, see where the cards fall, see what the teams pick, and then what falls to us Raiders. The way I'm looking at this draft, we can't really go wrong at how deep the receiver pool is, and you know we're going to get at least one or two in the whole draft. But I know for a fact there will be some late gems in the later rounds that we can get to help this team win now, you know. Everybody, you know, has the names of the Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, and um, C.D. Lamb, which is your top ones. But there's other receivers in this draft, too, that can that can come in and make an impact as well and, and add to that receiving group that uh, is going to give Derek Carr his weapons a chance at winning this season. I see a lot of bashing of Carr when I go to the little Raider groups on Facebook. The way I see it, that should come to an end. It should come down to this year. If they go in and give him some more weapons at receiver and so forth, because you know what fell through for us with Antonio Brown. Tyrell Williams wasn't healthy all season. So now with a healthy Williams, you go into the draft, you grab your number one receiver, and then you also grab another receiver to add into the pool with what we already got with Angular and Renfro and, and whatnot. You got a good receiving core. So all excuses are out of the window this year. No excuses. Carr got to go in there and perform the same way he did when he had Cooper and Crabtree. When he had those weapons, what happened? We went 12-4 and four and then ended up with him getting injured. And a lot of people think that the injury might have Carr kind of nervous and scared in the pocket. I doubt that's an issue. Carr's not built like that with the injury. When he broke his leg, he wasn't crying. People say he looked like he was crying, but shit. When you look mad, it looks like you're crying, so maybe he was pissed off. So anyway, let's get to it. We got our mock draft. We're going to jump it off on Pro Football Network. And um, as you can see, we're all set up and ready to go. You got the board up here. So here we go. Without further ado, the mock draft has begun. Now... As you see the names coming off the board, now it's down to us. Damn, you got Derrick Brown on the board still? You got Jerry Judy, C.J. Henderson, Henry Ruggs III. I'm sorry. If Derrick Brown falls, voila, we getting him. We just going to have to wait till the 19th. Now we get to the 19th. Like I said, it's deep in receivers, so we don't have to really trip off of this. So what I'm going to do now, we got... Coming off the board after us, Ruggs is off the board. We took Derrick Brown. That's a steal. C.J. Henderson is gone. Jerry Judy is gone. Ken Law's gone. So now, what can we do? What can we do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trade back. I'm going to trade back. I'm going to trade back. That's what I'm going to do. Let's do a trade. And we're going to do a trade with um, going to NFC. Let's do it with, because I already have my eyes set on some picks. Some picks, some picks. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Rams. And we're going to go ahead and get, we'll give them our 19th. But what I want from them, I want them second round picks. I want them and I want. Shoot, since we have to wait so long, 2001, they don't have a 2001. Give me a second. And let's see what happens. It's been accepted. Bing. So now we out of the play. So we go ahead and let the Rams do their thizzle. So now you got to look at our draft like this. Next year, we got a number two coming from the Rams. This year... We got one pick in the first round, but when we get to the second round, we got two picks in the second 
and we got three picks in the third. We got five more picks in the next two rounds. We know Mayock likes later picks, second, third round. So we got three thirds. Now we got two seconds. <laughs> and we got a second next year to add to a second that we got. You know what I mean? Since they didn't have a first next year to give us, I took their second. With all the, the players that they let go this year, I don't expect the Rams to do good. So that second pick should be a high, high second round pick. That's what I'm assuming. I'm going with that guess. So now what we got to do is wait and see what the Rams is going to do, which we don't care. I just want to get to round two because now in round two, the Raiders now have, we have the 52nd pick as well as the 57th. Now, if we really want to move up, we could take one of them second rounders and put it with a third just to move up and grab somebody. But I'm done trading. I'm done trading until about the third round or if another team get at me and say, hey, we need a, we want, we want, oh, yeah. So let's see here. What we going to do? I'm up here trying to check out this thing, man. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's see how we're going to do this one. We're going to resume the draft now. Now let the Rams do the thing. Now we just got to wait till the second round, bro. My mind is clicking where we got to get some more picks because we didn't have no seconds. Now we got two. We gave up. the. So what we going to do? Let's see what receivers we have in the second round. We're coming up to the second round now. So number 52, watch this. There's receivers out there, bro. Let me get this out the way. There's receivers out there. See, a lot of you guys wanted the, the brand name receivers. Brand name is cool because that's coming from a, a big school, championship type school and putting up big numbers, that's great. What do y'all think about Michael Pittman Jr., USC? You know what? As far as the board goes, he's the highest rated receiver left on the board. I think he's solid. Bam. That's what we're going to do at 52. Now, we got a defensive tackle with Derrick Brown at 12, traded to 19 for two seconds. We got Michael Pittman Jr. jumping off the board at 52, so we grabbed him. So now, what I want to do, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. And I really like Jeremy Chin at safety. I really like, he's a hitter, he's fast, he's tall, he's lanky. You put him with Abrams. It could cause big problems for these teams in the NFL, man. So, oh my goodness. With that being said, with the second pick of the second round, I'm going to go ahead and, um, damn it. Oh, man. To hell with it. Let's make that move. Jeremy Chin, because I forgot. We got three, first, we got three round, third round picks. We got three third round picks coming up. So now we're in round three. We hitting 80, 81, and 90. I forgot. What is we hitting on? I think 90 or 91. One of the two. Okay, now it's us. We got back-to-back -back picks. So we it's nothing we can really stress over. Now, they got linebackers out there. We did DT. We did safety. Oh, my goodness. That's another good, uh, oh, man. Hmm. So, what I want to do, okay, y'all, <laughs> we get into the third round. Oh, what we going to do? Raider shit. That's what we going to do. Uh, you know what? We going another receiver. I've been waiting for this dude. Claypool, another big, they comparing him to be like, not exactly like Megatron, but in that mode of being big and fast, you know what I mean, and with hands. So now we got our receivers out the way. See, Mike, Mayock, they know this too. You didn't have to go in and just spend all your picks on a number one receiver in the first round because this is so deep of a talent class when it comes to wide receiver. We don't have to do that, but we can sure up spots on the roster to make this team better. That's the main purpose of this draft. So what we're going to do next, okay, well, our receiver is out the way. Um, safety is out the way. What do what do we need to go ahead and grab? I like dude too. 
Oh, that's the other cornerback. Inside linebacker. Huh. Let's move this. Oh, my goodness. What to do, what to do, what to do. Okay. So now, do we go with the line? We don't really, uh, we got, we stacked up on linemen. Defensive tackle, we got in free agency. We got a couple in free agency. We just drafted Derrick Brown. I mean, how 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 much better does it get than that? You know what I mean? Derrick Brown fell to us at 12. Are you serious? I had to make that move. I had to do it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and grab. Who do we want that can help this team now? I'm not grabbing no quarterback. I want a linebacker. Mm. All right, we'll go. We'll go with the. Okay, so what I'm gonna do um, with the 81st pick, I'm gonna go with Malik Harrison, outside linebacker from Ohio State. That's the selection. We got one more pick in the third. Keep my eyes on the draft board. Let's get it, Raider Nation. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. We at 91. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I'm not grabbing any more receivers. We got a uh, outside linebacker. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and grab Damon Arnett, corner from Ohio State as well. Bam. So, like I said, don't buy into this mock draft that's being realistic it's just something to play with something to see like if it fell a certain way what we can get what we should get what we will get so i'm just playing gm mike mayock shout out to you taught me everything i know <laughs> so let's do this man so the third round is complete with our picks so now we're headed into let's see who's next on the board we're coming up right now so we have our pick coming up at number 121. So now this is where you find value tucked away in this draft that a lot of people don't pay a lot of attention to. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and do A.J. Green corner. Um, we'll add some competition to filling out that spot, that starting spot at corner across from Trayvon Mullen. So that's good competition, good youth, plus good add to the rotation. So that I, I, that's a good pick for what's there. You know what I mean? You see I'm going heavy. Well, not really heavy on defense, but defense is heavy because that was one part of the ball we had problems with last year, especially in the secondary. We had pressures coming in from Max Crosby. You get some pressure from Cleveland Farrell. Um, but at that defensive tackle spot, we grabbed Collins from, um, from Dallas. Solid pickup. We still have um, Reese Hurst, and um, now with Derrick Brown, dude, this this that front four could be something deadly. Our linebackers with with Littleton and um, the linebacker that we got out of out of Chicago, those are solid too. Then I added a linebacker from Ohio State too. So now it's back on us again at pick one fifty nine. So what we're gonna do with that pick? Now, this running back, I wanted. I wanted this dude so bad, the Michael P. Ryan from Florida. The dude is solid. That would be a nice backup for um, Josh Jacobs coming off the bench and then especially grinding these teams in the fourth quarter when we have a lead. This dude is bringing the thump. You know what I mean? Um, man, I'm telling you, this draft, this, this mock draft right here is nice. It's nice. I'm, I'm grabbing some good stuff. So now what we're going to do, what I'm going to look for is what's available on our on our late picks, which is players we can gamble on that has a high ceiling. Maybe they might have had some off-the-field issues. Maybe that um they went to a smaller school. No matter what, we're going to get somebody, and we're going to coach them up to help this team win now. I'm already I'm I'm already seeing the Raiders going to the playoffs. That's no to me, that's a no-brainer. We was like one game away last year. Um gave up that last um wild card spot to Tennessee. But with that being said, we came out the gates 
doing all right, six and four, and then fell off towards the end. But you got to remember, we had a lot of injuries. We have a lot of youth. These dudes in the second year that's with the team last year from the Renfros, the Abrams, the Mullins, um, Crosby's, I feel that they were going to produce more because now they're, they, they understand the system they're in. And now all they have to do is just keep grinding and grinding and grinding. So now taking in the first round, Derrick Brown, defensive tackle from Auburn. Then we traded away the number 19 pick to the Rams and received their two second round picks and a second next year. So we got three second round picks for one first round pick. I think that's that's solid. So with the first uh, second round pick we got from the Rams, which was number uh, 52, we got Michael Pittman Jr., the wide receiver from USC. Solid dude, good hands. That's one dude that a lot of people is not, not really, I think he's underestimated for the fact that we're so busy worried about rugs, worried about Judy, worried about CeeDee Lamb, that we're forgetting that there's there's a whole crop of good receivers in this draft that can come in and automatically help your team out. So Michael Pittman Jr. with the 52nd pick in the second round is a Raider. Then also with the 57th that we got from the Rams, I grabbed Jeremy Chin, which was the safety out of uh, Southern Illinois. This dude is a hitter. He's long. He's lanky. He's fast. He can cover. He loves playing football. You put him with Abrams, now you got to the hard way in the secondary that you, you, you might want to watch out if you throw the ball because they're going to sneak up and put a hit on whatever receiver it is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad with that pick. I always had an eye on him. I just didn't know when to grab him. But I felt since we made a trade and we grabbed two second-round picks, we turned the 19th pick in the first round into a safety and a wide receiver. I mean, come on now. You can't knock that. Then what I did with the 80th pick, we grabbed Chase Claypool, another big receiving target, fast, in a Megatron mold that's going to help us with our receive. Man, we got receivers now. We might not have C.D. Lamb, but we got Claypool and we got Michael Pittman Jr. Are you serious? Come on now. Then I went ahead with the 81st pick, grabbed Malik Harrison, which is an outside linebacker from Ohio State. Another solid player that we can add to the two veteran free agents that we grabbed already, you know, with Littleton from the Rams and Kwiatkowski from the Bears. Adding him into that mix and, and putting him under their wing to groom him, solid. That was a solid move that we had, and I felt that we needed to address that, that position anyway. Then we go into the 91st pick, and I grabbed Damon Arnett, which is the cornerback out of Ohio State. So now we added a corner into the mix to go ahead and, and fill out that other starting position across from Trayvon Mullen in our secondary. So you figure with Damon Arnett, the cornerback, and then the pick that I grabbed at 121, was A.J. Green, which is the cornerback out of Oklahoma State. So now you let Arnett and him battle it out and whoever else in the mix because I know there's, there's going to be a good load of undrafted rookies that I know Mayock and I know Gruden has been out there researching and coming up with if they don't get drafted in these seven rounds, we're going to make them a phone call and say, how would you like to be a Raider? You know what? Check mark, green light. Let's do it. So now we have competition at the corner position. We got safety spot. Doesn't mean that Jeremy Chin is going to come in and start. What that means is he's going to compete, but he has the potential with a high ceiling to become a great safety, especially playing with Abram. That's, that's really going to help out each other, man. Okay, so now we got our two corners that's going to battle it out um, in camp. Um, and then I went after the running back, uh, the Michael P. Ryan. Beast. This dude is a beast. I'm going to show you highlights of all these picks, but just, just believe he will come in behind Josh Jacobs and give defenses the business. I'm talking about the Raider business. He's about to hit him with the shield, come down with the elbow. You know what I mean? We doing it like that. So, yes, I feel that this draft, even though it's just a mock, not exactly what's going to happen, but if I was GM and this is how the cards fell, 
this is what my picks would be. So with that being said, this is my first draft with the Raiders Allegiance, Lunatic Raider. We did it, y'all. We got an idea of how this could fall. But Derrick Brown at 12, I don't think that's going to happen. But, boy, if it did, that's a steal. To me, that makes up for whatever I did with the 19, trading it away. But I got three second-round picks because, don't forget, I got the Rams second-round pick in 2021. So we not done. We are investing in this team, and we about to have something on the field, hopefully on the field this year, and show to the world that the Raiders is here. It don't matter if we play in L.A., play in Oakland, play in Vegas, or play on the moon. We're giving you the business. The silver and black way. The only way. There's only one nation. Raider Nation. And I'm out. Ugh.